Welcome. This is how I lost five pounds in seven days. All right, man. So before we can talk about how to lose five pounds in seven days, you have to learn what a pound of fat actually is. So one pound of fat, just one pound, is 3,500 calories, 3,500 calories, right? Which means if you want to lose one pound of fat, you have to be in a 3,500 calorie deficit. Now that doesn't have to just be in one day. What you want to do is do it over weeks, months, years, etc. So what happens when you hit that 3,500 calorie deficit, say you did it in like three or four days, at the end of that third day, you'd be at a 3,500 calorie deficit. So what your body does is it takes the fat and uses it as energy to perform its normal bodily function. That is basically the bro science and the simple version of how fat gets lost. The second thing we need to cover is what is a calorie deficit. So if you've watched my previous videos, I talk about this pretty much all the time because it is the only way to lose weight. So let's go over what it means. A calorie deficit is when you are burning more calories than you're taking in or taking in less calories than you're burning, same thing. That is the only way to lose weight. So if you see some fat burners or special magical pills that say, drop this amount of weight in this amount of time without doing anything or changing your eating. Don't buy that shit. That's dumb. How do you get into a calorie deficit? Well, like I just said, it's burning more calories than you're taking in. So first you're going to have to figure out your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate, which is fancy words for saying how many calories you burn in a day just being alive. You can go online. There's plenty of calculators online. You can figure this out. You got to type in like your height and your weight, activity level, age, whatever. But that will give you your BMR, how many calories you burn in a day. Now, not everyone is going to be extremely accurate. It gives you kind of like a rough estimation. So you have to play around with the calories and watch the scale to see if you're losing or gaining weight. But that gives you a pretty good estimate of what it will be. At this point, you might be like, well, what about my metabolism? I have a slow metabolism or a fast metabolism. That is when you just have to play around with your calories, man. Because you, I'm sure you see some people that sit on the couch all day, eat a bunch of Oreos, and they never gain any weight. That's just because their metabolism is faster. It's burning the, the calories quicker. It's using the energy quicker. And on the other hand, you probably see people that eat really healthy, go to the gym all the time, but they still have trouble losing weight. That's just their slower metabolism. They use the calories that they eat slower. They're not breaking any thermodynamic law here. It's just how their body works. Everybody's different. The third thing we need to talk about are carbs. Now, carbs are important in the first week or two of weight loss because they hold water. So for every gram of carb, it holds three to four grams of water. There's 400, about 453 grams in a pound. So you'd have to cut your carbs by about 113 to lose a pound of water weight. So what I did is I basically cut my carbs in half. Most people eat, well, Americans eat too many carbs, but most people eat like 300, 200, 300, 400, somewhere in that area of carbs per day. So I cut mine in half, but it's different for every person. So you have to play around with this one too. Now, I also should say regarding carbs is if you cut your carbs in half, and you do that every day, you're not going to lose like a pound every single day because eventually you'll run out of water weight to lose. It's usually just the first week or two of weight loss that you lose water weight. Now comes the part you were waiting for. How to actually lose five pounds in seven days. Number one, you have to be in a calorie deficit. I recommend if you want to lose weight quickly to be in at least a thousand calorie deficit a day which you're gonna feel it. You're taking in a lot less food, so you're gonna feel probably a little bit more tired, less energy, but this is how you lose weight. So if you are in a 1000 calorie deficit per day and you do that for seven days a week, you will lose two pounds of fat in that week. Now you're like, Sawyer, what about the other three pounds you promised us? That's where carbs come in. Now, if you cut your carbs in half like I did, depending on the person, everybody's a little different, but you can expect to lose like, like three to five even some people lose 10 pounds of water weight in their first week. So you could actually lose more than five pounds in your first week. But that weight isn't actually fat, that's just water weight. But you'll, you'll feel and you'll look thinner because you're not storing all that water in your body. Now I should say during this one week, you want to drink a lot of water because if you're not drinking enough water, your body's gonna try and hold on to the water. So you have to be drinking a lot of water this week. Number one, you're in a calorie deficit of anywhere from 500 to 1000 calories per day. If it's a thousand calories per day, by the end of the seven days, you will lose two pounds of fat. If it's 500 or 500 calories, you will lose one pound of fat at the end of those seven days. Number two, you reduce your carb intake. Now you'll have to figure that out. Like I said, it's different for everybody. So I can't 
you know, make it specific for the person. But I cut mine in half. If you do those two things, at the end of those seven days, I guarantee you, you will lose at least five pounds and maybe more, depending on how much water you're holding. It is that simple. This stuff is not hard. I promise you guys, you can do it too. Just need the right information. This is the right information. I post a lot of this stuff on this channel, like weight loss, fitness, building muscle, whatever. If you like this stuff, then I suggest you subscribe and like, or not, because I don't care. I was rolling up a dolly today on a semi and I nicked my freaking knuckle, man. That hurts. <sighs> anyway, peace out, boys. I love you. Mwah.